What's up weirdos, my hair is so big and crazy, I'm feeling baby girl, and Jerry Springer is dead at 79. So in honor of the king of TV shows that you would watch when you were staying at home from school sick and throwing up, I wanted to make a video about two first cousins who just can't stop making love with each other. Cause it feels like a very daytime TV show, Jerry Springer, you are not the father! But I guess it wouldn't be you're not the father, it would be you are the cousin. Your kids are children of incest. Uh, and before we get into this video, I just want you to take a second and think about your first cousin. <laughs> and then think about what if you were in love with each other and God, don't think about that. That horror, that disgust is good to feel. And it is something that these people don't have. I believe it is referred to as shame or dignity, boundaries, the list goes on. Their names are Michael and Angie. And before this video starts, I need you to think about their first cousins. Angie's father and Michael's mother are brother and sister. That's the furthest I've ever gotten in this video. I've made it there and then I decided that I had to make this video so everything else is fresh and I don't want to watch it. I don't want to keep going and I want to, but weirdos together strong. That's not, by, by the way, how you kiss. The, 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 this, that is how people who are first cousins and are kissing each other would kiss because it, it's just like, okay, here's this thing that's already very taboo and gross. Now let me kiss in the most taboo and gross way. I just looked up the definition of kiss and it is touch with the lips as a sign of love, sexual desire, reverence, or greeting with the lips, so they're not actually kissing, so it's not incest if we didn't kiss. Come on, mom and dad and her mom and dad, my aunt and uncle, come on, it's not kissing, it's not incest if we're just licking each other's tongues. But they probably just had to start off the video with a bang and they're gonna be chill. That makes their relationship illegal in the state of Utah. Oh my God! Why is, what, what's with the like the, it's like a bear hug. And they're just standing in a kitchen. They're just standing casually in the kitchen. Okay, so for this shot, just kind of be natural. Natural? Okay. And then her. I don't feel comfortable. And see, no more incest improv for the rest of this video. It's illegal in the state of Utah. By the way, I know that there are some people who are like, Oh, come on, just let people live. No, <laughs> no, I'm not, no. Because if there's nothing wrong ever and everything is always okay, that's ridiculous. This is the line, right here is the line. I wouldn't be making a video about second cousins cause it's like, what if they didn't know? First cousins, you know. And you're not soulmates by the way. If you believe in soulmates, then you believe that there's like a designation. Nobody would ever designate first cousins to be soulmates, idiot. I don't mean to call you an idiot. I'm like, my heart is racing right now from anxiety from this video. We're like in second grade, like seven, eight years old, and we immediately clicked. Dude, it, you're, you're telling a story. Just tell the story. We immediately clicked. We all, uh, so basically when we, with those vacuum sealed pants, what does he have a little valve on the butt of his jeans that she goes, sucks all the air out of it, breathes in his ass sweat, just to get it as tight as possible. I've never seen pants that tight. That was disgusting imagery. I'm, I'm sorry. But Jerry Springer died, so I have to do this. I don't know why. I have to though, for Jerry. We were slow dancing in the closet, we got caught kissing. I got pulled aside by my parents and they said, what's going on? And my mom said, cool it, Angie. And we felt like from then on, we were kind of kept apart and it felt unfair. It felt a little bit like Romeo and Juliet. What? You're telling me that your mother at a family reunion saw you, her daughter, making out with her nephew and stepped in? What? A uh, B-I-T-C-H. And the Romeo and Juliet comparison, are you kidding me? It was just like Romeo and Juliet. You know, the play where cousins fuck. After years of the family keeping them apart, Michael and Angie are now both divorced. Oh, that makes sense. This is definitely a post-divorce midlife crisis type thing. My ex-wife is such a bitch. Like I thought me and my spouse were in love and then it turned out we're not. So I should go fuck my cousin. Huh? If you're ever in that situation where you're like, I need it, I need it, I need it. I would say your standards should be the most unattractive person to you that you've ever seen in your entire life. And then below that is your first cousin. Not my top pick is my first cousin. It's just like a priority thing. Okay, let's keep going. Immediately was like, she's still super hot. And I had a sex dream about Michael after that. And I wanted to tell him about it, but I was so nervous that he didn't feel the same way. Michael, what the hell is, what, what, who is, what is going on with this guy? What's in his mind? He's like looking around as if he's not even present in the situation. And then, oh yeah, my first cousin had a sex dream about me, yeah. Uh, you know, the viewer of this program is not supportive, dude. No doubt about how Michael feels. Reunited once more, the canoodling cousins. 
So my mind always goes to like the filming of this video. Is the person who's like directing this show like, hey, we need some shots of you guys just making out. And then Angie and Michael were like, okay, that's our favorite thing to do. This is sick. The producers of the show are, they found great content. Who am I kidding? I just wish I didn't, wasn't watching. But we're doing this for Jerry. We can't give up now. This is for Jerry. Infamous Polaroid. So they posted this photo on the family Facebook page. No! Leaving no question they were way into each other. Are you- that's how they announced it to their family? Imagine going onto a Facebook group dedicated to just family stuff like, Oh, so-and-so graduated. Look at my straight-A student Brayden. Senior pictures of Alexis. And then these two motherfuckers posting just like basically P-O-R-N of them as first cousins in the only group where everybody's gonna know what it means and just causing like a nuclear bomb. That was- them taking that Polaroid is literally Oppenheimer. I have become death, destroyer of worlds. I don't know that. Don't look at that. They w were shocked and horrified. Horrified. We took some more Polaroids, but we didn't ever show them to anybody. They were shocked and horrified that you were posting softcore cousin incest on the family Facebook group? Horrified. Can you believe it? They were horrified. Yeah, Michael, yeah, I can believe it. First cousin Kathy has become their nemesis. Oh yeah, Kathy. This is gross. People joke around that our family are a bunch of yeehaw inbreds. Yeah, I'm with Kathy. Let's go, Kathy. Kathy is the hero that we need in this story. We've been scraping. We've been scrabbling for a protagonist. And Kathy comes in. She, by the way, lip gloss, getting it popping. She's ready to come into this story and serve cunt. Is that the correct usage of that? It's a positive usage. And Kathy, I think I speak for the entire audience when I say we don't think that your whole family is a bunch of inbreds. Just Angie and Michael and their kids. And I don't think you should call Michael and Angie's kids a bunch of inbreds because that's really mean. But... If we look up the definition of inbreeding, <laughs> I'd feel bad. Oh, we have 25 new messages. Here's someone who said, what is wrong with you two? Do you think it's normal to marry a person who has the same blood and genetics as you do? <laughs> when is that ever right? People that hurt other people are hurt themselves. I try to forgive them and move on. <laughs> What are you talking about? I mean, yeah, it's kind of mean to go out of your way, but that's on their, like, what, charity? The Michael and Angie Foundation? Because <laughs> to me, that sounds like you're a charity for legalizing first cousin sex. <laughs> Which, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess do whatever you want, but don't do that. <laughs> But I don't know if the whole hurt people hurt people thing is valid because well, can you never say anything ever? Is the world supposed to see two first cousins inbreeding? I mean, that's what the word is. And just go, hey, you slay, go for you. Especially if they're advocating for like the normalization of uh, incest. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you should not normalize that. That's how sexual abuse happens. A lot of the time, a lot of the time it's in the family. So I think the whole normalization of incest, there's a lot of like power dynamics and stuff at play that I think should not be uh, normalized. But maybe me thinking that is just because I got broken up with one time and I'm continuing the cycle of pain. Even with the whole family and the online world against them. Because they can't do <laughs> Oh my god, they can't even eat sushi. You can't eat sushi. I know there's something just deeply sensual about putting raw fish in your mouth, but you can, you, you can go out, by the way, with your significant other and feed each other sushi, that's fine. But you don't have to go, and then and make out at the sushi restaurant. Everybody else in that sushi restaurant's like, Jesus, I'll have what they're having. <laughs> They're cousins? I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Nothing was going to stop these copulating cousins from taking their love to the next level. Is there a single video of them where they're living their life and it's not? <clears throat> hey babe, can you pass the water? Mm, yeah, here you go. Oh, mm, thank you. Mm. Just, just eat a lollipop by yourself. You're 40 years old. Eat a lollipop. You're not a 13 year old behind the bleachers at a middle school baseball game. Back home in Utah, just by having sex, these first cousins could risk a five year jail sentence. Okay, that's a little crazy. You shouldn't be sent to jail for five years for doing something. Oh, just a gr uh. Obviously, okay, 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 okay. No, you shouldn't get sent to jail for that. Okay, I don't believe in the incarceration system, especially to that degree. But just get two lollipops. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying, you know, be sent to Guantanamo Bay. I'm saying just two lollipops. That's that's all I want from you. Two lollipops and you mind your business and I don't find out about it. We found out that we were pregnant six months ago and the doctor was looking around and he said he couldn't find a heartbeat. We've been kind of lost since then. I f uh, f uh, um, don't know how 
to, to uh, with, uh, because when I saw the description of it, it was that they had a baby, uh, they had a kid. So, but they, uh, but the fucking video said they had a baby. Okay, so that's like the start of it. And then what they do is they get like a, uh, a genetic test to see if they could have kids together. So this is going to be them looking at their results to see if they are carriers for any diseases. This is like the second best to perfect. Right. I'm just so happy right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> we need to have children because these are going to be like perfect. Like super baby. Genetically perfect children. Except that their mom and dad are first cousins. So they are children of incest. So, uh, so, so cool that you have good genes to pass down. Do you know what would make those genes even better? Is if they weren't um, with your cousin. Have you seen any of the royal family? Because that's what I, I don't want to. Okay. So okay, that's good. So they have they have hope for having their uh, kids. So that's it makes it feel better than what we had seen a second ago. That's okay. Let's skip to the part where uh, Kathy confronts them though. Kathy, their other cousin, who is our hero, our lip gloss popping queen, and a bad bitch if there ever was one. But will cousin Kathy soften her stance when she discovers there may be a baby in the mix, or will she double down and keep up the fight? If Kathy is who I hope Kathy is, Kathy will not fold. I would I would I would hope that Kathy wouldn't fold in the face of this. If you you hate that your two first cousins are in the relationship that they're in, I think adding that they're also gonna make a kid would not make you feel better. Kathy, please don't let us down. They've traveled all the way to Wyoming to meet their own first cousin, Kathy. If this turns into them making out with Kathy, I'm going to blow I don't think I can say that online. I just want to emphasize the person they're about to talk to is related to them in the same way that they're related. It's not like, oh, we're coupled up and yeah, that's our cousin. That's their cousin that they also are, it's it's this. You know, they're all related the exact same amount and these, you know, two are doing it and then this one hates it, as she should. Need to win over so the rest of the family will follow. Family's extremely important to us. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, apparently family's extremely important to you. Yeah, apparently, based on the way that you're I just gotta, uh, woo, pee, inner peace, inner peace, inner peace. Who knows what uh, kind of attitude that she's gonna have. I hope she's very calm, I hope she's rational, and I'm just gonna approach it very objectively and try to not be emotional about anything. We're gonna educate her, we're gonna educate her and teach her that, you know, first cousins can make up. We're gonna convince her so good that she, as our other first cousin, will get down and make out with me. But Kathy would never. By the way, Kathy would never. That's a joke on Michael, not Kathy. I just don't like this whole, oh yeah, uh, we're gonna hope that she, you know, listens to this objectively. If she was rational and objective, she would hate this. No rational person looks at this and goes, oh, it's giving health? Shawn Mendes might say that. Oh my God, I love Kathy so much. Look at the way she's walking with that minivan with that drink in hand. She is my Princess Diana. Just go in there and demolish them, Kathy, please. Or, you know, gently remind them that they're first cousins and wasta. Will gaining support from the public and lawmakers sway Kathy? Oh my gosh. And what will she- Why did they make her walk up <laughs> so far? This has been like three shots of her walking a good distance all the way. I'm sure she thought, oh, they'll cut this out. They're not gonna show this. Just five minutes of Kathy walking through a field. She watches this on TV, she's like, the hell, why would you use that? <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. You look nice. Thanks. Yeah, she's gotta be wondering right now. Oh, you look nice? You look nice? What, are you gonna try to stick your tongue down my throat, you f***ing freak? She's related to them, I cannot emphasize this enough, to the same degree that the two kissers are. So in their mind, it's just as okay for this relationship. Not that th they wouldn't because they only like each other, but. But you know what I mean? Thanks. Like, it's a very weird dynamic. It's like if I had a sister and I was make, I don't want to even go there. <laughs> Let me just ask you, per like, personally, like, imagine your mind. It's just like your best friend, the person you're most attracted to, the person that you want to be around the most, just so happens to be your cousin. That's when you put the brakes on and back away. Yes, yes, yes! Do not fold, Kathy. I know there's cameras involved. Do not fold. Stand strong for Jerry. For Jerry. Put them dukes up, Kathy. Put them dukes up. You can stop yourself. You have the same blood running through your veins. Yeah. And so you just go with someone else, even though you know this person would be the one that would make you the happiest. I have a cousin, yeah. as well as you guys. I think she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go f her. 
<laughs> yes! 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 That was that was so good, I gotta give Gus a treat. Come on, get up here. For Kathy. And for Jerry. Because, by the way, she is so right. They have this like junior high crush mindset. No, but we love each other. There's no one else for us. By the way, there could be someone else for you if you gave them a chance. It is actually possible to be super attracted and love somebody. And then also be super attracted and love somebody after you've broken up with that person. So you could say, oh, we're first cousins. Let me stop. And then I will go find somebody else and then I will love them because you are not the only person that I could ever love. If you only have the capacity to love one person, then you, that you are wrong. Think back to your first middle school girlfriend or boyfriend. Think about how you felt. That's how they feel about each other, but they are 40. <sighs> Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. It stops right there. So what's- I don't want to be known yeah. as the cousin of the incest cousins. Okay. I need a break. Break. Everyone decides to take a breath before trying again. That is like the way that people who are very into the MCU feel. That's a Captain America reference. That elation, that joy, that's how I felt when Kathy delivered in every way that I wanted her to right there. Kathy is like a wish fulfillment character where I'm like, if I was in this world, I would want to be saying this. And then she says it with the panache, with the chutzpah. Yeah, much needed cigarette. Much needed cigarette, gotcha. Michael tries one more time for a reconciliation. Um, I don't want anyone in my family to to hate me or hate her. I don't hate you. Or just, you know, being- But do you see what I mean? Where That's what it is. He is acting like he's Kathy's cousin. Like, let me talk to my cousin. And then Angie is just sitting there like, oh yes, Michael. It's like, you you guys are all equals. You guys are all cousins in this. And, and the vibe that Michael and Angie have where it's like, oh no, we're in the moral high ground here. We're actually right. And you're such a bigoted wrong bitch, Kathy. That's their vibe. It's like this arrogant, like we're better than you. We're smarter than you. We have the right knowledge and you're just being a hater. And that is so frustrating. And so it makes it feel so good when Kathy spits it. You know, it's one thing to it be like- you know. It doesn't hurt me. Well, it disgusts me. Guess not. Let me just ask you per like personally, what do you have against it personally? I think it's gross. I am so glad that that's what we're getting in this. Cause you know, there's a, there's a part of these types of videos where it's just like, oh, we'll just show it and the showing it is the crazy part. But like in that video where that girl eats her ex's ashes, by the way, crazy video, go watch that. She has to actually confront somebody and like to confess to them and talk to them about it. And that is what I love so much. And that's why Kathy is the, oh my God, she's, she's making this video bearable for me. And in Jerry's name, amen. And I, being tested for everything that could be tested for, I have no genetic defects. So the chances of us having some sort of child with you know, the nasty stuff they say is, it's impossible because of- It's not impossible. It's, it's virtually impossible. But as far as being responsible, this is the best thing we can get to show being you guys. Being responsible would be you guys not having children. <laughs> oh man. Amen, Kathy, amen. It's so great to have like an actual breath of fresh air. She's so real, she's so down to earth. She's saying the exact things that I would hope would be said to these people. And it's like, yeah, you are human beings with free will. You can freely will yourself to not your first cousin. And if you freely do choose to do that, don't go to jail for five years, but don't expect your other first cousin to support it. Cause it is, you know, incest. I, let's frame it a different way. I would say- Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there because mm -hmm. I don't care. Okay. Okay, whatever you guys do in your privacy mm -hmm. is your own thing. But when you bring me into yeah. it, when you bring the family into it, uh -huh. that's when I get pissed. This guy is such a bonehead. How about I frame it to you in a different way? How about I use different words to describe the same thing, which is me f***ing and having a kid with my first cousin, who was also your first cousin, my first cousin. I'm so glad that she just shut it down as like, I don't care. Nah, I don't care. Just don't bring me into it, I don't care. Uh, because might I remind you, if you're feeling a little bit bad for Michael and Angie at all at this video, they posted those pictures of them naked making out on a family Facebook group. That is the type of action that results in a consequence, and the consequence being, your family no like you anymore, your family separate from you because icky. Oh my God. I came here with more of a hope. I think Angie came here with more of a hope of maybe reconciliation. I don't know why you would even think that, to be honest with you. Just being hopeful. Um, but she does not want that. She wants to be left alone. So, I, see you later. Nope. But it is so frustrating to watch them as they're behaving holier than thou. But the thing that they're behaving holier than thou about is 
fucking each other as first cousins and trying to do incest and inbreeding. And they're like, but we're better because we still want to be friends with you. And she's like, I don't have to fucking be friends with you. You guys are destroying our family's reputation and incest with inbreeding and fucking. And they're like, oh, but we were, you know, hoping that we could have a little bit of reconciliation and you'd look at this objectively. I don't care, I don't- It disgusts me. And Kathy's like, I don't have to, I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to. You're not better than me. You're not, you're not. I'm Kathy. I have my cup, I have my cigarettes, and I'm out of here. Do these khakis make my butt cheeks look big? <laughs> Fucking right they do. Okay, but after that whole fiasco, I have to know if they had a kid. I'm gonna go look them up and see what the whole situation is now. Michael and Angie, first cousins, baby? Question mark? Oh my God. December 16th, 2020. Their baby is seven months old. So good for them. Congratulations. We're first cousins from a large conservative family. Okay. Okay. So by the way, they're conservative, by the way. Okay. Wait, what? Michael's dead? Huh? He uh, was working and a few hours into his shift, he collapsed and, um, Oh my God. So we start the video talking about how Jerry Springer's dead. And then we go to watch this video because of that, cause it's crazy. And then the guy who's in the crazy video doing the incest is dead. I feel kind of weird about all the things that I was saying about him in this video now. But I didn't know he was dead when I was, I wasn't like, this is a weird energy to leave the video ending on, but I, 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 I... Thank you.